Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Room Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna talk about one button to push and show you how easy it is to schedule a room system to be able to have the one button to press or one button join when it's time to walk into your meeting. So quite simply, we've already got uh, one button to push set up, hybrid calendaring services on our org here. So we're not gonna go over the setup process in this video. We're just gonna show you how easy it is to actually schedule a room. Now, there's many different ways to schedule a room uh, with different clients. Uh, depending on what you have, Office 365, G Suite, et cetera, Exchange. Um, but we're just going to kind of show you two separate ways here. If you have a specific way you'd like to see, just comment below, send us a request, and we'll go ahead and get a video for you on that. But for this, we're going to kind of, again, just show you two different ways. I've got two different systems behind me here. They're both on different orgs set up. Uh, one is for Google G Suite. The other one is set up on Office 365. Again, just to show a little bit of difference here and some different flavors to do this. Um, I've got a Desk Pro here, which is set up. Um, now, this is a, a more of an interactive device so I can actually touch it. And I also have uh, a WebEx uh, Room Kit Mini here, and this one's got a Touch 10. So it's gonna kind of show you the differences between the different types of devices and how you would uh, join and how that experience would be uh, as it varies from each device. Now, one thing you'll see is on both of these, you see this on the, on the view here, you see that it says room available all day. Now that immediately tells me that this device is hybrid calendar enabled because it's showing me that it at least is aware of the fact that the device has a schedule. You'll also see that because it's available all day, that tells me that there's no bookings currently. And we're gonna change that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to bring up my um, uh, laptop here, and for the first demo, I'm actually going to show you on the Desk Pro here, which we have with Office 365, is I'm going to show you how you can schedule from the WebEx Meetings app. Now, here I am inside of WebEx Meetings, and I'm going to hit Schedule, and what you'll see here is it's going to cross-launch into Outlook, and we're going to see the standard dialogue that we normally see, the window here for scheduling a meeting uh, with Outlook client. Um, now, this is um, powered by the WebEx Productivity Tools, which is a part of the WebEx Suite, which is allowing uh, Outlook to be able to communicate on the back end to uh, WebEx and create your meeting for you. So all I have to do is, is basically give my meeting a title and I'm going to say WebEx one button to push demo. And then just like any other meeting, I can go through here and uh, add the people that I need. In this case, I'm going to add my Avenger admin. And when it comes to Outlook, there's a couple ways to do a room reservation. So I can do it by location or leverage the room finder. Um, another way to do it is, is if I know the name of the room, I could start to type that in my required field because it's going to be a participant. I'm going to book this room as a participant. And in this case, I'm going to start to type in the WebEx Edge Desk Pro. You'll see it's actually a recent uh, people here. It's got it added to the invite. You'll also see that it defaults it to the location because that's where we're physically going to have this meeting. Um, and um, so I've got my time set up here. This is a meeting from 12 to 1230. You'll see here that we're at 1156. So it's a few minutes beforehand. Um, so this is going to be good for our demo. So I'm going to go ahead and send this meeting off and let the hybrid calendar start processing that in the back end. So I hit send. Productivity tools is being communicated with. It's um, creating the WebEx meeting information for me. And on my screen, you're gonna see a bunch of pop-ups here because everything's gonna let me know that I have a meeting coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of these. And then while that's uh, processing, I'm gonna show you how to do this from Google and through uh, G Suite. So I'm gonna bring up my browser here. And you'll see here that I'm already logged in. Um, and the same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and create a meeting invite here. And this one is done a little bit differently because I'm using the, the Google um, interface. So I'm gonna say G Suite, one button to push demo. And again, get rid of some of my little dialogues that are gonna be popping up here. Same thing, we'll keep this from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And here I'm gonna do something a little different because inside of Google, I have this ability to select the actual rooms tab. Again, I know the name of this device and it's gonna be the WebEx Edge uh, and if I hover over this one here, you're gonna see the WebEx Edge Mini. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So now that's been added. And from a guest perspective, I can add um, whomever I want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add uh, Tony Stark, for example, on this particular meeting. Now, I've got my meeting details in here. And the one thing that I can do when it comes to adding conferencing is I've got this add conferencing uh, icon here. So I could have a plugin to allow me to do the WebEx productivity tools from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you a different method. And this is using the hybrid services um, at WebEx 
um, capability we have. So simply by adding the at WebEx to the location field, um, and just ignore this right here. Um, that's from my uh, other device telling me I accepted it. But by adding the at WebEx in my location field, this is another way that you can schedule a WebEx. So again, just showing you a different way to do this. But when I save this information and send it out, the WebEx service is going to automatically populate those WebEx details in the meeting for me and let my device know about it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then I'm going to allow it to send. And that's going to send off to my devices and get me squared away for my demo. Now, since we've been talking, you'll notice here that the Desk Pro has already uh, shown me that it is now scheduled for the WebEx one button to push demo. And you'll see that it's organized by Stephen Strange, and there's no more meetings today, so I'm still able to see that calendar. You'll notice I have this big green join button here, and all I have to do is click on that button, and it's going to start into my meeting for me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end this call because I don't have anybody in there. But very simple, very easy to do. This meeting is already set up. I just have to walk in and hit join. Now, on contrast, I've got my other mini here, and I'm going to kind of zoom in to show you the Touch 10 specifically. And you'll see here that same thing. I have the G Suite one button to push demo, but down here on my Touch 10, same thing, and I have my join button. So if I hit on join, you're going to see it's going to dial right into my uh, meeting. It's going to ask me if I'm the host in this case because my meeting hasn't started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that call. But quite simply, I now have um, a very easy way to be able to schedule my rooms for one button to join, walk in, hit one button, and I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to do more showing you how to actually set this up from a technical back end. But if you like the video, please comment. If you have any requests, let us know. And stay tuned for more videos to come. But thanks. Have a great day.